guys welcome back to the channel um, today I am doing a requested video um, showing how I make a gift basket um, and this is just one of the gift baskets that I, I make but this one is um, the movie theme one and I'm making it for my son's um, teacher um, actually two of the um, it's a couple they both work at the, at the school together so I thought this would be a really cute basket for them um, they have two little ones, so I wanted to do a family theme basket that they can share with their boys as well. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have and what I'm going to use in it. We may use everything, we may not, but um, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so let me show you what I have um, to go into the basket. So just have some popcorn, a couple of their favorite kinds of candies and then I found these really cute um, coca-cola themed glasses that look like the little cans I thought those were super cute um, and then a little pack of water bottles for the boys and then just some little trinkets for the kids um, so they can be entertained in case you know they end up not watching the movie with mom and dad um, these I made um, as just little fl favors to go inside so you know if it ends up being a little date night for mom and dad then they have something some beverages to go with that so I thought that would be nice um, I got some filler paper um, and some tissue paper which I may use all of it may not we'll see as we go along and then these are the basket bags that I use to finish it off so let's get started this is really cost effective because as you guys know most of this stuff comes from the Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Dollar Tree all the extra stuff Dollar Tree even the candies from Dollar Tree so um, you can make a really beautiful basket without busting the budget especially if there's multiple teachers that you have um, to make gifts for um, you don't need to spend a lot for it to look nice so what I start with is the base basket, whatever I'm using at the time. And then what you have to do is layer to get that effect that you see when you buy a gift basket. So you can just use the discarded paper and your grocery bags or whatever. You can use tissue paper, you can use um, newspaper, all those things work well. So you want to start putting it in because you want to be able to have that tiered effect. So that's going to be our base. And we're going to cover it um, with, you know, like one of the papers. Or we can cover it with tissue paper also. And then you can start putting it in so that you don't see that when you look in. So let's use the tissue paper. start fluffing it around however you want to make it look good and then we'll start putting the items in I'm going to start with the drinks I'm going to rest them right there in the corner and then you want to fan your popcorn out and then I'll stick those behind and they will sit right on top of the the other tier that I had back there and start fixing it up and then I think I want to go ahead and put the glasses in. Um, but before I put them in, I'm going to fill them with the candies. So these are their favorite candies. And I asked ahead of time. So I thought that this would be a cute look. Um, and then, you know, you just want to think about the size of your your basket, you know, what can you fit, what's going to look the best, um, how can you put it all together for it to make sense. So this is a good way to save space if you're doing something like candies or something to that extent. Oh, 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those in. Put those as the centerpiece. I got the boys little toys that they can play with, so I'll just stick that in the back. And it's all about height differential so that you can, you know, it's visually pleasing. And we'll put the candy down in there. And I bought these little water bottles for the boys. I was going to leave them together, but I think I will separate them and put them to the side because I think I like the the way that the candy in the jars look uh, in the glasses look. So I think I'll do that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out of the packaging. So I'm going to take these out and stick these down and that way it'll be a little bit of leverage for it. There we go. I think that looks cute. And then I'm going to stick the candy right down the middle. So I don't want to take away from the glasses. Those are the centerpiece for me in this in this one, so I think that looks good. And then um, also, while you're doing this, you can start to do your filler paper, and you know just kind of fill it in different places and make it look full. I may put a take these out a little bit and put. Um, I may take these out and put some in, and then stick them back where I want. So I think we're gonna do the white for I was going to do the silver but I don't think that that goes well with it so I'm going to stick with what I have here and sometimes less is more so <laughs> Just kind of quit while you're ahead so it doesn't start to look overly dumb. Right. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then we just finish it off with the, um, the bag. And these actually come two to a, a pack, so that's a good deal. So for this part, you just want to get it open, and then you're going to set it down in there. And then once you have it in your bag, then you can start to situate it the way you want it to look. And this is where I start to fill in. Actually, I'll put more of the filler paper, the decorative shreds, um, and I think I will do some yellow on the outside. with it and seeing how I want it to tie. Do I want it to be super tight? Do I want it to lay back? Um, do I want it behind? I'm sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> um, I usually try to stretch it a little tighter towards the front and then you also want to make sure that everything's laying the way you want it to before you finish it off. So we're gonna get ready to tie it off and then we'll be done. Okay, so I just tied off the bag with a small piece of string. Just anything that's not going to slip. Usually ribbon is not going to be the best option since it's silky. Um, it's got that slippery material, so you want to use something that... Um, I guess this is not... This is string, whatever you call this stuff. <laughs> but um, you want to use uh, ribbon to tie it off. So don't worry about the extra bag right now. I'm going to go ahead and 
take some ribbon and just give it a decorative look. personalize off camera obviously but just to give you an idea I'll show you one that would I could put on there so you want to just grab it and give it a little trim and then you just grab it back up and then that is that very cute very festive simple that still looks good looks like you paid good money for it okay so like a simple tag like this something that mimics the lines it goes very nicely with it not too overly done to take away from what we've already done and you can leave a nice little note on the back, the to and from, stick it on here, and that would be your your basket. So something quick and easy and simple, didn't take us long to do it. And everything, almost everything purchased from the Dollar Tree, so it's cost effective. So if you have to make multiple, then you can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about this quick and easy project. Um, again, if there's anything that you guys want to want me to show you in other videos, then please feel free to ask. Thank you so much for coming by today and checking out the channel. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And give us a thumbs up and show us that you enjoyed our quick and easy um, teacher gifts that we did today. So talk to you guys later. Bye.